In this lesson, we're going to solve equations uh, by multiplying out brackets. Now, if you're not sure about this process, there's easier ones to do in level 4, uh, and I've created video lessons for them. So if you go back to level 4 and look at the section with equations and equations with brackets, you can do simpler versions of these. But this is the National 5 equations with brackets. So firstly, we've got x bracket x plus 3 equals x squared plus 15. So whenever you see um, brackets in the equation, you should be multiplying them out straight away and then simplifying the rest to solve the equation. So if you do x times x to get x squared and then x times 3 to get 3x, that's how you multiply out the bracket. Now what this does is it gives you x squareds on both sides and the easiest thing to do is cancel them out. We've got the same thing on both sides, you can take them away from both sides and that just really gives you down to 3x equals 15 which is pretty handy because that's really where you're going. Divide by 3 and you get your answer of 5. Now, you can test this to see if it works. 5 squared is 25 plus 15 is 40. Let's try the other side. So 5 multiplied by 5 plus 3, that's 5 times 8, which is 40. It's correct. You can always do that if you've got time to check your answer in an exam. Okay, um... Let's look at this more complex looking uh, question. The same principles apply. You multiply out your brackets first. So let's do the left hand side. x times x is x squared and x times 7 is 7x. Okay, uh, so multiplying these brackets out just as we did in the multiplying out brackets, in, uh, brackets section before. Do the x times x first. x squared. x times 1 is x. 3 times x is 3x. And then 3 times 1 is 3. Now simplify this before going any further. So just rewrite that out um, as 4x in the middle there. 3x plus 1. Again, we've got this situation where you've got x squareds on both sides. So you can get rid of them by taking them away from both sides. And you're down to this. So uh, take away the 4x from the 7x. You're really trying to get numbers on this side and letters on this side, so we don't really want that 4x there. So if we take it away, uh, we take it away from this side too, and you're down to 3x equals 3. Then x is 1 to finish. And if you substitute it back in, uh, this would be 1 multiplied by 1 plus 7, so that would be 1 times 8 if you like, so 8. So this other side should come to 8. 1 plus 3 is 4, so that bracket's 4. And 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2 fours are 8, and it works. Okay, let's look at this next example. So, I would write it out long ways. You're squaring the bracket, so that's x plus 4 times x plus 4 to save any confusion. Um, so write it out. And this is x take away 4 times x take away 4 again. To save any sort of confusion, write it out properly and write it out long uh, ways. The common mistake here is to say x squared plus 16, which is wrong when you multiply out the brackets. So let's start on this side, uh, the left hand side. x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Then start with a 4. 4 times x is 4x. And 4 fours are 16. Again, on this side, x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And finally, negative 4 times negative 4. Signs are the same, so it's a plus 16 at the end. Again, simplify this down in the next line. So we can collect the 4x's up together. And that gives you 8. And you can see what's coming here. Uh, and take away the 4x, take away the 4x, that's negative 8x. And as before, you see the same thing on both sides. The x squared and the x squared can cancel out. You can take them away from both sides. And that just leaves you... Um, oh, I must have cancelled the 16s at the same time. You could, I suppose, do that as well. Get rid of the 16s uh, here. You've got 16 on both sides, so that leaves you with 8x equals negative 8x. You could take your time with that and go 8x plus 16 equals negative 8x plus 16. Another thing to be careful of, see when you take away the x squared here, make sure you bring it down as a negative 8x. A lot of mistakes are made when you take that down as a plus 8x. So 
So it's, you can get mixed up here as well. Atex equals negative Atex. Well, what to do is get all the Xs to this side. So actually add Atex here and add Atex. That will make that zero. And there the answer is zero. It is possible to get a solution of x equals 0. And if you're not sure, you can test it out. 0 plus 4 is 4. You square it, you get 16. 0 take away 4 is negative 4. You square it, you get 16. It works.